So I've been around a lot of cat products, worked with cats professionally for three years before I started this online business. Worked as a cat sitter and I've come across all different types of cat trees and litter box setups and toys, enrichment centers, all the things. And I've actually found some of my best purchases that have actually lasted a long time, provided enrichment, mental stimulation, kept, keeps Jericho happy. And all of these purchases are, I consider actually worth my money. They don't fall apart, they last a long time, and they serve multiple enrichment needs. That's a big tip for sure, is that when you purchase something for your cat, Make sure it serves multiple enrichment needs because then you're getting more out of that one piece. And that's what I really aim for when I'm shopping for calf products. And that's what I'm going to include in this video, my favorite of all time that have lasted and provide Jericho a lot of enrichment. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho don't like being filmed. So he was out of here when I started setting up the camera. <laughs> but either way, it is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. And you will see Jericho throughout this video because I'm going to show you how he uses all of these products. So the first purchase that is absolutely worth your money because it was worth my money is the cat ladder. By the way, I'm going to include all of the links to everything in the description of this video. So the cat ladder is exactly what it sounds like. It's a ladder for cats. So it's made out of real wood, solid wood, it's handmade, and then they wrap each step in carpet. And this is really great because it's customizable. You can get three rung ladder, four rung ladder. I have a six rung ladder, so there's six steps. It's really tall, I set it up against the window. Jericho runs up and down it when we play. He scratches on the carpet. He can perch up high, look out the window, and more importantly, look down on me because, you know, that's what cats love to do. But this is really great because, again, it serves multiple enrichment needs. So cats can be up high. They can survey their territory. That makes them feel safe. That makes them co feel confident and comfortable. He can scratch on each of the ladder steps because it's wrapped in carpet. So that provides scratching needs. Scratching needs are important because that's how the cat, it's a natural stress relief. That's how the cat, you know, sharpens his claws, sheds dead layers of the claws. Cats do it when they're excited. They do it to mark their territory. So all around, really, really great for stimulating and providing that natural need for cats. And the other thing is exercise. Jericho runs up and down it. We play on it. You know, I, I take some sticks and kind of wiggle them around the ladder and he paws at it. And whenever we're running around at night, he runs from the living room out into this room and runs all the way up to his ladder. And again, he can perch up high. So all around, it's really, really excellent. And again, you can get as tall or as, as uh, short as you want, depending on what works for your space. And it comes with this bar that you can attach to the window or to the wall with stickies. There's also an option to put holes in the wall and like really secure it tightly, but I live in an apartment, so I can't do that. So I just stick it to the window and then there's Velcro that sticks to the carpet, the top of the ladder. So I put it up against the window. It's right next to the table over here. It's right next to my desk. So he can easily go and climb and, you know, be a cat. The next purchase that I really love that has helped me and Jericho is a stainless steel litter box. Now, you might be thinking, what does that have to do with enrichment and fun? Well, cats prefer a clean bathroom, and quite frankly, they deserve a clean bathroom, right? Just like you, you like your bathroom clean. It's, you know, you don't want to use a porter potty every day, right? So the point of the stainless steel litter box is that it's not plastic. So plastic traps bacteria even with regular washing. And especially when your cat's digging around and you're using the scoop and you're scrubbing, all of those little cuts and holes and scratches, bacteria can grow in them. And no matter how many times you clean it, it's not going to get 100% clean. There's going to be bacteria lodged into that material. So the downside of a plastic litter box is number one, because of that bacteria, but also number two, you 
you have to buy a new one every year, or we should buy a new one every year. So it's not sustainable, it's not sanitary, but a stainless steel litter box absolutely is. So that's a one-time purchase, depending on how many cats you have. Obviously, if you have multiple cats, you're purchasing it more than once, but once you buy it, you have it, and then that's that. You don't need to buy more of them. And I've had Jericho's stainless steel box for years, I'm so glad I'm so grateful for this investment. Like I said, I've been working with cats forever and when I worked as a cat sitter, I scooped hundreds of boxes, came across every single type of setup. This setup is the best because it's what cats prefer and deserve. So with Jericho's litter box setup, it's a stainless steel litter box. It doesn't trap back bacteria. It's a one-time purchase, it lasts forever, and it's great because it's open. Cats prefer an open concept <laughs> litter box because they like to survey their territory while they're using the bathroom, right? When they're using the bathroom, they're vulnerable. They wanna make sure to survey their territory. They're living indoors, we know that they're safe, but that's not the way that the cat sees it. These are natural instincts that are just ingrained in them. So this is across the board, even if your cat's never been outside. So I really like the stainless steel litter box because it's sanitary. It's very easy to clean. Litter doesn't get clumped up at the bottom of it like it does with plastic litter boxes. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I would visit cats and I would spend the entire 30 minutes just cleaning the litter box. But with the stainless steel, it, you know, everything slides right out. It's very easy to clean. I have a really great litter cleaning routine again because I've, I've learned from scooping many boxes. It only takes me about five minutes a week to clean it. Now you might be thinking, I've never seen a stainless steel litter box at the pet store. I haven't either, I got mine online. So years ago I bought it from Amazon. There's also one on Chewy. The other option is you can use one of those uh, uh, chafing dishes from a restaurant. You, or you can, you know, if you go, if you have a restaurant supply store or something like that near you, you can use one of those chafing dishes. I don't know if the sides will be deep enough, but per perhaps you can find one that is. My only suggestion is just to make sure around the edges there aren't any sharp edges, uh, because sometimes I've noticed when I was working in the in the food industry anyway that they would come to a sharp point at the edge. So you just want to make sure, just in case your cat you know, wipes his paws off or scratches along the edges of the litter box. You wanna make sure that it's it's filed down or somehow, like Jericho's litter box has rounded corners so there's no sharp points. And that's the one that I got on Amazon. Again, I will link everything in the description below. So the next purchase that is absolutely worth your money, worth my money, one of my favorites, Perfect Post. This is a scratching post made by a veterinarian and she created these specifically to go against people declawing their cats, right? Because declawing is not just removing the claw, it's removing a portion of the toe. Quite frankly, even if it was just removing the claw, that would be bad, but Anyway, as I mentioned before, scratching is a natural instinct that all cats have, and nurturing that instinct is just a basic need that we all need to provide our cats with. So this scratching post specifically, I really like because it's made out of sisal carpet. So instead of the sisal rope that, that sheds and you know makes a mess all over the floor and doesn't really last that long, this one is like woven sisal as if it's a rug, like a carpet. And it's really, really sturdy, it's made out of wood, Jericho is very rambunctious and he does parkour kicks off of it. Sometimes it, one time it did, it did fall over, but it's definitely way sturdier than the generic ones. You know, they all look the same with the size of rope. I mean, a scratching post, that scratching post is better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. But if you're looking to upgrade and get something that's going to last a long time, just like the stainless steel box, you buy it once rather than buying plastic and plastic and plastic and plastic. With this scratching post, it lasts much longer than the other generic ones. So it's worth the investment because you get longer, a longer life out of it. And Jericho absolutely loves it. He scratches along the bottom of the post and he also scratches, you know, stretching up the top of the post. It's actually getting quite frayed and it's been a few years since I had it. So, but you can buy replacement parts. So you can buy the bottom part only, you can buy the top part only that screws into the bottom so you don't have to buy the entire thing over. You can just buy the replacement parts. Now, if you're like me, you're a busy cat mama and you're probably thinking that all sounds great, Jess, but I am so busy, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't even know where to start. 
Don't worry, I got you. I created a Cat Care Foundations video course, has all of my best resources all in one place. How to bond with your cat, my five minute a week litter cleaning routine, single cat household hacks, all of my favorite cat supplies, how to get your cat to play, and so much more. Literally everything that I've learned from being a cat sitter, working with cats, professionally playing with them, cleaning up the litter box, setting up territories. It's everything that I do for Jericho to keep him happy indoors. It also comes with a cat care binder, printable and digital planner. So you can keep all of your cat's records, weekly, daily, monthly, vet visits, medical trackers, litter box trackers, weight trackers, literally everything you need for your cat all in one place. I've also included cat sitter instructions so you can travel with peace of mind. This is every detail that we collected from clients when they traveled. And so many of my clients have said to me, like, I was so nervous to leave, but I know that my babies are well taken care of. You've given me peace of mind and now I'm able to relax and enjoy my vacation. So you can check the link in the description for the Cat Care Foundations course. It includes literally one-stop shop for everything. I really wish that this was available out around when I adopted Jericho, but I did all that work so you don't have to and it's a great option for you. You support my business, continue so that I can continue the work that I'm doing. You get a great product and your cat gets an amazing th thriving life. It's a win-win-win. You can check out the Cat Care Foundations course in the description below. Okay, so the next purchase that is very much worth your money is Cat School's Clicker Training Kit. So Cat School, Julie, she's one of my friends, Cat Behaviors, we mastermind all the time. Really, really fun, really great. Her clicker training kit is amazing because it comes with a handheld clicker and a target stick clicker. And she includes a booklet teaching you very simple things, very simple way to get started. So I'm using the clicker training kit because Jericho is a counter surfer. He's gotta be in the kitchen all the time. So I wanted to use the clicker training kit to get some good positive behaviors in him. And it's also a good like bonding experience too. And Jericho actually looks forward to this every single day. So I started doing this routine after I go outside for my early morning sun, go outside for a walk, come back, and then I start clicker training Jericho. Cause I found that in the past, I kept putting it off, putting it off. I'll do it later and then later comes and I never did it. So I found that if I attach it to another routine and especially something that's early in the morning, then it actually gets done. And now Jericho looks forward to it. He meets me at the door and he's excited for clicker training. And it has helped a lot with the counter surfing. So he's much better when I'm in the kitchen cooking. He doesn't jump into the kitchen anymore when I'm cooking. I'm still working on when I'm preparing his own food because that he's just, especially if I open a can of sardines, oh my gosh, forget about it. He's up on the counter like immediately. As soon as he hears the crinkle of me opening the can or opening the package that the can comes in. But it has helped a lot. And I really like the clicker training because it's, it's enrichment and it's mental stimulation. It's a fun activity that we can do together, but it's also benefiting his behavior as well and benefiting our relationship because you know how frustrated it is that when he jumps into the counter, you know, into the kitchen, I'm sure you feel that, that frustration as well. So it's helped me like calm, relax, you know, it's okay, he's being a cat, and now I'm just training him, and it's just all around really great benefit for him and for me. The next cat supply, one of my favorite purchases, is the Ripple Rug. Now, I'm going to make some adjustments here. I got the Ripple Rug a couple years back, I think in 2018 or 2019, so it's been a few years. And back then I had the top and bottom, so the, whole, the full ripple rug set. So the top has holes and little slits so the cat can kind of run in and out of it, and then the bottom is just a flat rug. And there's little hook loop fastening strips along the top so that it sticks to the bottom. And you can rearrange this however you want. It's really, really fun. You put toys inside of it, you can hide treats inside of it, your cat can scratch on it, rest on it, play. Jericho's like a baseball player. He dives into it like he's diving for home base. <laughs> he loves playing on it. It's really great too because you can make these ripples and then with your wand toy, you can move the wand toy around the ripples. So that's a really great way to mimic hunting indoors because you're kind of making the toy seen and unseen just like it would be with prey. And that's really going to get that, that prey drive in your cat going. Now the adjustment here I would say is I don't use the bottom rug anymore. 
Uh, it's made out of recycled plastic bottles, the top and the bottom, and then there's kind of like a rubbery foam latex along the bottom of the bottom portion of the rug. And I think that I washed mine too frequently. It is machine washable and hang dry, but I think that I washed mine way too frequently. I was washing it at one point and once a week, plus I've had it for years. So the bottom part of it started to disintegrate and then it would get all over my clothes. So I would say if you're planning on washing it a lot and you don't want to deal with that, buy, you can buy the top only if you buy directly from their website. Again, links will be in the description. Buy the top only and then you could still situate it however you want. I liked to do a cotton rug underneath it. So I got this cotton rug, it's 100% cotton from Hook and Loom. They have others that are like polyester blend, but I, I prefer 100% cotton just to minimize some of the plastic because the top rug is plastic bottles technically. So I did, the, the bottom is the cotton, and that's what I also use to put under Jericho's litter box and also in his little play area. And then I put the ripple rug top only on the top. The ripple rug is on Amazon, but I would say beware because there are a lot of fakes and a lot of, uh, you know, generic ones that aren't the actual size of the Ripple rug. So just be careful if you are going to buy from Amazon, make sure it's the actual Snuggly Cat Ripple rug. It's also on Chewy. The only thing is that you can only buy the top and bottom set and you can only buy it in brown. If you go to their website, you can buy the top only, you can buy the bottom only, you can buy the full set, and they also have different colors. Plus it's also nicer going straight to the website because you're supporting them directly. But they also have store locator on their website, so that might be at a local pet store near you as well. All of these things have massively increased Jericho's enrichment and mental stimulation. I hope you enjoy these products. Let me know if you use them or if you do use them in the comments. And you can check the Cat Care Foundations course in the description of this video. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.